In 1863, the first canine exhibition was held at the Jardin de Climatation in Paris, France. The winner of the Dog de Bordeaux was a female named Magentas. The Dog de Bordeaux was then given the name of the capital of its region of origin, today's Dog de Bordeaux. During the 1960s, a group of breeders of the Dog de Bordeaux in France, headed by Raymond Triquet, worked on the rebuilding of the foundation of the breed. In 1970, a new standard was written for the breed, with the most recent update in 1995. This standard is the basis of the standard written for the AKC in 2005. Although the dog de Bordeaux first arrived in the USA in the 1890s for the show ring, the first documented dogs de Bordeaux of modern times appeared in 1959 clarification needed, Fidetta Fanalon, and in 1968, Rugby de la Maison des Arbres. Between 1969 and 1980, imported dogs de Bordeaux in the USA were scarce, limited to a few breeders who worked closely with the French dog de Bordeaux club, the SAD. The breed was first officially introduced to American purebred enthusiasts in an article written in 1982 and by the American anthropologist, Dr. Carl Simonsik for Dog World magazine. That article, entitled Introducing the Dog de Bordeaux, was followed by chapters dedicated to the dog in some and six books on dogs, published by TFH Publications of Neptune, New Jersey. When some and six first article on the breed was published, there were no Bordeaux dogs in the United States. There were 600 examples left in the world, mostly in France, the Netherlands and East Berlin, and the breed's numbers were on the decline. Much later, in 1989, the typical American family saw the dog de Bordeaux for the first time on the big screen in Touchstone's movie Turner and Hooch about a policeman and his canine partner, although many people who did not know that the massive slobbering animal was a dog de Bordeaux. Since then, the dog de Bordeaux has taken hold in the United States and can be found in greatly increasing numbers across the country. The dog de Bordeaux has been supported by multiple breed clubs throughout the years, and has finally found its way to full AKC recognition through the assistance of the Dog de Bordeaux Society of America. Since 1997, the DBSA has helped bring the breed to the point in which full AKC recognition could be achieved. The Dog de Bordeaux has begun to flourish as recent years, with its introduction into more movies and even television, as well as its full recognition status by the American Kennel Club, also known as the AKC. Full AKC recognition began July 2008. Its numbers are climbing, but careful attention must be paid to health and the breed if its increase in popularity is to show a positive forward motion. The breed was first exhibited in France in 1863 after which time it gained in popularity not only in their home country but in other parts of the world. The first record of Dog de Bordeaux in the UK can be seen in the Kennel Club Gazette in 1897. 2. The breed was officially recognized by the Kennel Club, UK, in 1997-3, but it was not until 2001-4 that the Kennel Club, UK, accepted an interim breed standard. Appearance Dog de Bordeaux Puppy The Dog de Bordeaux is a well-balanced, muscular and massive dog with a powerful build. The dog's size should come mostly from width and muscles, rather than height. Cetacean needed the breed is set somewhat low to the ground and is not tall like the English Mastiff. The body of the dog de Bordeaux is thick set, with the top line that has a slight dip. Top line is never completely straight, and a gentle rounded croup. The front legs should be straight and heavy boned, well up on pasterns, down to tight cat like feet. The straight tail, beginning thickly at the base and then tapering to a point at the end, should not reach lower than the hocks, and is set and carried low. The breed is to be presented in a completely natural condition with intact ears, tail, and natural dew claws. It should be evaluated equally for correctness and conformation, temperament, movement, and overall structural soundness. Cetacean needed. Weight. The breed standards by European FCI and the American Kennel Club specify a minimum weight of 99 pounds, 45 kilograms, for a female and 110 pounds. 50 kilograms, for a male. 5. There is no formally stated maximum weight, 
but dogs must be balanced with regard to their overall type and the confirmation standards of the breed. Cetacean Needed Height The standard states that the desirable height, at maturity, should range between 24 to 27 inches, 61 to 69 centimeters, for male dogs and from 23 to 26 inches, 58 to 66 centimeters, for females. 5. Deviation from these margins is considered a fault. Cetacean needed. Head. Stenotic nares, pinched nostrils, may cause breathing problems. The massive head is a crucial breed characteristic. The dog de Bordeaux is claimed to have the largest head in the canine world, in proportion to the rest of the body. For males, the circumference of the head, measured at the widest point of the skull, is roughly equal to the dog's height at the withers, shoulders. For females, the circumference may be slightly less. When viewed from the front or from above, the head of the dog forms a trapezoid shape at the longer top line of the skull, and a shorter line of the under jaw, forming the parallel sides of the trapezoid. The jaw is undershot and powerful. The dog should always have a black or red mask that can be distinguished from the rest of the coat around and under the nose, including the lips and eye rims. The nose color in red masked dogs should be brown, in black masked dogs, it must be black. The muzzle should be at most a third of the total length of the head and no shorter than a quarter of the length of the head, the ideal being between the two extremes. The upper lip hangs thickly down over the lower jaw. The upper lips of the dog de Bordeaux hangs over the lower lips. The skin on the neck is loose, forming a noticeable dewlap, but should not resemble that of a Neapolitan Mastiff. Small pendant ears top the head, but should not be long and hound-like. Cetacean needed. Coat. The standard specifies the coat to be short, fine, and soft to the touch. Color varies from shades of fawn, light, coppery red, to mahogany, dark brownish red, with the black, brown, or red mask, although the red mask is true to the breed. White markings are permitted on the tips of the toes and on the chest, but white on any other part of the body is considered a fault, and a disqualifying one if the pigmentation goes beyond the neck. Cetacean Needed Health A Young Dog de Bordeaux Dog de Bordeaux in the Snow while larger breeds of canines tend to have shorter life expectancy, the life expectancy of the dog is still shorter than even breeds of comparable or larger size. 6. According to data collected by the Dog de Bordeaux Society of America, the average lifespan of the breed is 5 to 6 years. 7. A veterinary database in the UK showed similar figures. 8. In the American survey, the oldest dog in the record was 12 years old. 7. The Society is actively recording dogs that are 7 years old or older to celebrate the longer-lived dogs. 9. Because of its brachycephalic head, the dog can be affected by breathing problems. See brachycephalic syndrome, some may be heat and exercise intolerant as a result. 10. The FCI standard considers excessive shortness of breath and raspy breathing in the dog a severe fault. 11. The brachycephalic head shape can also encourage ectropion, an outward rolling of the lower eyelid, which can lead to conjunctivitis, eye inflammation, and bacterial infections. 12. Under the UK Kennel Club's breed watch system, the dog is classed as a Category 3 breed, formerly high-profile breed, meaning it is a breed where some dogs have visible conditions or exaggerations that can cause pain or discomfort. 13. Aortic stenosis is a disease of the heart valve in which the opening of the aortic valve is narrowed. Symptoms include exercise intolerance, exertional syncope, fainting from physical exertion, and sudden death. One study suggests a high predisposition in the breed. No severe cases were found in adult dogs, and most moderate to severely affected dogs died before one year of age leading the authors to speculate that the disease is more severe in the dog than in other breeds. 14. Another heart problem in the breed is dilated cardiomyopathy, a condition in which the heart becomes weakened and enlarged and cannot pump blood efficiently. Some affected dogs may die suddenly without showing any signs of problems. Others may die from congestive heart failure after several weeks or months. 
affected dogs are often euthanized at an early stage to avoid suffering. 15. An estimated 5% of dogs may be affected by footpad hyperkeratosis, a thickening of the footpad and sometimes nos. 1617. X-rays submitted voluntarily to the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals shows that more than 50% of dogs in the database are affected by hip dysplasia. 18. Oh, <laughs>